Hey guys, welcome to another plugin tutorial, and today it's on the plugin Max Band. So, this is a fantastic plugin which allows you to ban people, kick people, mute people, and lots of other things. So, as you can see, you can customize this by putting maybe a website at the bottom uh, for people to make an appeal, and it tells you how long till it expires, who banned you, which is very useful, and the reason. And it's in bright green. So, really, really happy with how the developers formatted this plugin. So, if we join back, and here we are, we can uh, have a look at some of the commands. So let's look at the mute command. I'm going to mute myself for this. Um, I'm actually already muted, so if I try and type in chat, it won't let me. Um, so obviously, if you want to unmute someone, you do this command with their name, and then they can type in chat all they want. So that is very, very useful. Another command is the UUID command, and then obviously someone's username, like that. Um, as you know, players can actually change their names. They could sneak back in the server if they've been kicked or something for being naughty. Um, but this UUID does not change. So if you ban that, they're not getting back on. So that's a really, really cool um, feature. Then there is the warning feature. So if you warn someone, uh, I think I've been warned or was it? Okay, so I'm gonna warn myself. And what this does is, um, I'll show you actually. So if I warn myself for the reason test, uh, it will pop up in chat and that will be sort of the first warning. Second warning, a um, bit more severe, you get kicked and this is your final warning. Now if I warn myself a third time, it, uh, it, gets, it gets worse. So uh, this pops up. So um, we actually got banned for 10 minutes and 5 seconds and uh, it shows you all of the warnings we got. So there could be different ones such as griefing, verbal abuse, etc. And it also says who it's by. So that's really cool. And I've just remembered I'm banned. So let me go ahead and unban myself. Um, unban LTGM007. There we go. So I should be able to get back in now. So that's a very straightforward command. Uh, let's look at the temp ban command, uh, which you would probably use more than the ban command, as uh, some people, you'd want them to come back after they've learned their lesson. So, um, obviously, temp ban and their username, and then uh, the number of um, minutes, hours, or days, or whatever um, you want. So, 0 0.3, and then the time frame, such as minutes or hours. Uh, so, I believe that's 18 seconds, and obviously, the reason. So, you do hyphen S, and then the reason. So, um, briefing, lots of houses, and then, uh, yeah. This pops up, banned for 18 seconds, and yeah, that's really, really cool. So, uh, there's a few more um, commands that we need to go through, such as things to do with IP, and you can also temp, temp mute people as well, so that's a nice feature. So, back in, um, you can check people's IP to see if they're the same player, if they've got two accounts or something, uh, which is really, really useful you can toggle the chat on and off. So um, if you maybe wanted to record on your server and you didn't want people to type in chat, you could do that, uh, which is really cool. And now people can obviously talk. It's a very, very cool feature. And quite an interesting command is the force spawn command. And obviously someone's name. Um, which is quite interesting. It says um, on here that, um, it makes sure that the forward slash back command doesn't work. So I don't know what circumstances you'd want to use that in, but uh, it's in the plugin, so you can use it if you want. Another really cool command is the forward slash lockdown command followed by maybe a reason, such as uh, maintenance, uh, spelt like that, and obviously you can toggle it on and off. And that is the message players would get if they try to join the server. Uh, unless they have the permission, there's this long permission you can give your players uh, or admins if you want them to be able to join during lockdown mode. Um, so as you can see there, it's bypassed it. So lockdown off, and they can disable it like that. Um, you can obviously clear uh, warnings for players if they've made it, made an appeal or something. Um, you can obviously clear them, which is uh, pretty cool. And I believe that is mostly everything. There's obviously IP ban and temp IP ban. 
Um, so maybe if there's a uh, couple of brothers on who are being a bit, a bit naughty doing some things they shouldn't, you can IP ban them and neither of them will be able to get on. Or if they've got multiple accounts, that stops uh, people joining as well. So, um, I believe that is uh, everything within the plugin. You can change lots of things in the config, uh, various messages and time frames and uh, other things and colors as well. You can also hook it into Bungie and I believe um, a MySQL database. So overall, it's a fantastic plugin. It's updated to 1.8, so it will work on hopefully all 1.8 dot something versions. Um, I'm using 1.8.3 if anyone's interested, and it works perfectly. And yeah, um, you can now load it for free on Bucket, uh, which is brilliant. So subscribe, like, comment, and I'll be back very shortly with another tutorial.